Hello, my name is Cameron Baker and I'm one of the pastors here at Grace Church. Uh, as we get ready to celebrate Thanksgiving together this year of 2020, uh, I'm thankful that you're here with us. I'm thankful that you've taken this moment to step in. I'm gonna invite you to uh, get your Bible, uh, open it up to Psalm 8 as we turn to the Word and when we think about giving thanks to God, uh, I want to show you in the Word where God promises and shows the power and the effectiveness of praising Him and His great name. So turn, if you would, to Psalm 8. The psalmist, uh, when he writes this particular psalm, he, he uses God's personal name as God revealed it to Moses, which is Yahweh. Uh, and I'll insert that uh, where uh, it's supposed to be here. O oh, Yahweh our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mindful, what, what is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you care for him. You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O oh, Yahweh our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. When we read that psalm, you heard that it begins and ends with that same phrase, O oh, Yahweh our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Uh, it, it is a response, it is a refrain, uh, it's a cry of our heart sometimes. Um, but in that, that phrase, what follows in verse 2 at the beginning there, really is a very, very powerful and great promise from God. I'll read that verse for you one more time. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. And I'd, I'd ask you to focus in on that idea, the fact that your thanksgiving, your praise, has the strength to silence the enemy and his demons, whatever that looks like, whether it be fears and concerns over uh, the pandemic, whether it be things that have happened in your past or, or thoughts that God just clouds your mind with or try, uh, not God, but the enemy tries to cloud your mind with or, or condemn you. The Word of God tells us that our praise, the praise of God's children, he set that in motion, and the benefit, not, not just to God, but to you and I, is that it silences the enemy. I like to think of the fact that we can't really be praising God, both mentally and, and, and verbally and singing and all those things, and be concerned about the enemy at the same time. So we look through this psalm, and if you pulled it apart a little bit, you'd see that the first few verses, verses uh, 1 through 2, really talk about praising God's name uh, and the works that He's done. Uh, you see that in verses 3 through 5. And we also see in verse 6 to almost the end, God's plan. So, so we praise God for His name, Yahweh. We know His name is as Jesus, which really just means Yahweh saves. We praise Him for His works. The, the actual things that God has done over this past year for you and for me, for our families, the way He's worked in this world. And yes, right now things are challenging, uh, even as I'm recording this for us. Um, what Thanksgiving is actually going to look like for people uh, is kind of up in the air right now. But you will always have the opportunity to praise God. And as you're praising Him, uh, not only is he going to smile, but the enemy is going to be silenced. Um, God's plan is unfolding before us day by day, 
moment by moment. Um, when we come to Thanksgiving, we have this very specific opportunity uh, because whether your family or your friends are believers in Jesus, they sort of expect to give thanks to God these days. And so I'm going to uh, just invite you as a believer in Jesus, uh, be bold uh, at your table, whatever that looks like, uh, to praise God's name, to praise Him for all the things that He has done, and to praise Him for the fact that His plan is unfolding through history. Even right now with the time that we're in, churches, some are open, some are closed, some people are wearing masks and all, all, all of that. But you can be certain that God's plan is being pushed forward. More people are being drawn into the faith of Jesus at this time, probably than ever before. As people get worried and scared and afraid, they start reaching out and they start being exposed to the God of creation, the God of universe, the God who knows the beginning from the end. And so this Thanksgiving, praise God, praise Him with your voice, and remember when you do, the enemy is silenced. Uh, I'm just going to, if you don't mind, just close us in a word of prayer. And I just, I just want to praise God together. So Jesus, uh, we come to you right now. We are thankful again for the opportunity to be together in this way. We're thankful for uh, the way that you reveal yourself day by day, the way that you allow us to care for one another, the way that you allow us to minister to one another. I give you thanks, Lord, for uh, the protection that you have offered to us over this past year. I thank you, Lord, for uh, revealing yourself to so many right now. Uh, people who are coming to faith and putting their trust in Jesus, I thank you and praise you for that. For people whose faith is strengthened right now, as we know that, Lord, you are uh, in control, that, that you are the one uh, who watches over us day in and day out. Uh, and whether we live or die, we live and move and have our being completely in you. And so, Lord, receive our prayer, receive our praise, and Lord, as we do this, silence the enemy around us and grant us peace. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you again. God bless you.